This is Rick Talks Baseball, and today we're going to talk about my predictions for the American League East. Finishing fifth, I have the Boston Red Sox. Besides Chris Sale, I don't know what to make of this pitching staff. Kluber hasn't been the same since his 2018 All-Star season. Pavetta hasn't had an ERA below four in his entire career. The pitching staff for me is the team's greatest weakness. Tristan Cassis is having a strong spring and very well might be the answer for the Red Sox at first base. Trevor Story is currently on the 60-day IL, but he's eyeing a return at some point during the season. Let's face it, Devers is going to be Devers. Their outfield is the weakest in the division, with the only real threat being Yoshida, who we have yet to see how he will fare against Major League Pitching. In fourth place, I have the Baltimore Orioles. Their pitching staff is very young. Your most experienced pitcher is Kyle Gibson, who is entering his 11th season in the majors. Besides the injury last season that limited him to two games, John Means has been a solid pitcher in his career with Baltimore. Dean Kramer had a good season in 2021, posting a 124 ERA plus and a low 3 ERA. I also like the addition of Cole Irvin, who will most likely slot as the number three in that rotation. Irvin showed improvement in his 2021 season, and the Orioles are hoping that continues. This team's starting lineup only has one player over the age of 30. Adley Rutschman is just going to get better, and he is the catalyst for this team. Their turnaround last year after he joined the team was incredible. This team only had two players who had an OPS plus under 100 last season, and one of them is gone, and the other was replaced by Adam Frazier, who they are hoping goes back to his 2021 All-Star season. In third place, I have the Tampa Bay Rays. I know a lot of people will have the Rays finishing behind Baltimore, but I believe even with the injuries at glass now, they have one of the most solid pitching staffs in the league. Out of the five starting pitchers that are projected to start out the season, only Zach Eflin had an ERA above four. All of them had an ERA plus above 100, and not one of them had a strikeout per nine lower than seven. Even though their starting lineup is missing someone that strikes fear into the opposing dugout, they do have a solid one through four in their lineup. A lot of the reasons the Rays struggled last season was injuries to Wander Franco and Brandon Lowe. The reason I can't pick them higher is because there are still too many holes in their offense, especially at catcher in the outfield. Finishing second in the division, I have the Toronto Blue Jays. I think Alec Manoa is one of the most underrated pitchers in baseball. Behind him, I think you will see some regression from Gosman due to the banning of the shift. I also would like to see improvement from Bassett, who had an increase in hits and walks per nine and a decrease in strikeouts per nine last season. Barrios, for me, is a roller coaster ride. When he's good, he's good. When he's bad, he's really bad. Ryu can stay healthy, and Kikuchi needs to limit his walks in the long ball if he's going to be successful this season. On paper, Toronto has the strongest lineup in the division. Their only potential hole in the outfield is where they traded offense for defense. I think Whit Merrifield is a grinder, and he will give this team an edge. I think trading for Varsho instead of keeping Teoscar Hernandez was a gamble that won't pay off for them. Finishing in first, I have the New York Yankees. Even with the recent injury to Rodon, who I believe the Yankees should keep out for six weeks to avoid him coming back too soon, they have one of the top five starting rotations in the league. You still have Garrett Cole and Nestor Cortez and Severino. I think your biggest holes are at third base and outfield, where if either Donaldson or Hicks struggles, you have Oswald Cabrera or even DJ LeMahieu. I think Peraza personally will start out the season at shortstop. Let's also not forget they have Anthony Volpe, who has been hitting out of his mind in spring training and it seems may make the opening day roster. Even with the abundance of injuries, most of them aren't going to miss significant time with the exception of Montas. Also, IKF will be in center field until Bader gets back. Even though Judge won't have the same season as last year, he is going to hit 40 to 50 home runs in 2023. Follow me for more baseball content.